Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. Few weeks ago, one of our subscribers asked me to do a video on layers in AutoCAD 2D. So now I am going to present it to you all. In this video, I will explain you about layers in AutoCAD in an easy and understandable way. First, let us see what is mean by a layer. One drawing can have many layers and depends on the complexity of the drawing you may have a few to dozens of layers. You can use each layer to draw a specific object type. For example, you can use wall layer to draw walls on it, door layer to draw doors on it, window layer to draw windows on it and column layer to draw columns on it. Now let's start to create layers by clicking this layer properties. By clicking this option you can create new layer and the shortcut key to create new layer is alt plus n. Next to this you can see delete layer. By clicking this you can delete the layers and the shortcut key to delete a layer is Alt plus D. Next one is Set Current. By clicking this you can set a selected layer as the current layer and the shortcut key to set a layer as current layer is Alt plus C. Now I am going to create a new layer by clicking this. Now a new layer has been created here. By default, new layer has been named as layer 1. You can rename this layer name as per your wish like main wall, partition wall, doors, windows, columns, circle, ellipse, rectangle and so on. Like that you can rename this layer. I am going to rename this layer 1 as circle. Now press enter. Here you can see a bulb symbol. It is used to tan a layer on or off for the entire drawing. Here also it has been given tans layer on or off for entire drawing. Next to this bulb you can see a sun like symbol. It is used to freeze layers. And also note this point. You can't freeze or delete a current layer. Next to this you can see lock. Lock symbol. It is used to lock or unlock a layer. Here you can set color, line type, line weight. Now I am going to set color for this circle. Click this box. I am going to select this green color for the circle and click OK. See now the color in this box has been changed to green color. We can also set line type. Now click this option. Here you can change the line type also by selecting this load option. Here you have so many options and if you want to change you can select any one of the line types from these options. And here also you can change the line weight. If you need a particular thickness for the line, you can select from here. Again, I am going to create another new layer. You can click here. Another layer has been created and rename this layer as rectangle. And also give a color for this layer as per your wish. I am going to give this orange color. Click OK. The color has been changed in this box now. Similarly, create another new layer. In this way, you can create so many layers. I am going to rename this third layer as ellipse. You can rename as per your wish. If you create walls, you can rename it as wall. If you create window, you can name as window. If you create door, you can rename it as door. In this way, you can rename this layer as per your wish. Now I am going to change this color by clicking this box. I am going to give this rose color for ellipse layer. Now the layers has been created. Click close. 
when you click this down arrow you can see the layers you have created has been displayed here now select this circle layer when you select this circle layer it is displayed on top now i'm going to draw a circle see your circle is formed in the selected layer now select this rectangle layer and create a rectangle now the rectangle has also created in the selected layer similarly select this ellipse and create an ellipse here it is also created in the selected layer now you can hide or show a layer using this bulb symbol see when you click this bulb symbol of circle the circle has been hidden here when you click the same bulb symbol again the circle is shown similarly when i click the bulb symbol of this rectangle layer the rectangle layer has been hidden and if you want to show it again after few minutes then you can again click this bulb symbol you can hide all three objects using this bulb symbol and show again using the same bulb symbol i think now you are clear about hiding and showing a layer using this bulb symbol next to this bulb symbol you can see a freeze free symbol which looks like sun freeze is also used to hide or show a layer like bulb symbol this freeze option also similar to this bulb symbol which is used to hide or show an object next to this you can see a lock symbol when you click this lock symbol you can see the object is still here but it has been blurred you can't select this circle when i drag the mouse to select this object only this rectangle and ellipse has been selected this circle is not selected because this layer has been locked press escape key when you click again this lock symbol the circle has been unlocked now when you drag the mouse to select these objects the circle also selected along with this rectangle and ellipse as we know that only these blue dots indicates the selection of any objects when you lock this circle ellipse and rectangle the object is still there which is not hidden but the object is blurred here when i drag the mouse point here see the object is not selected now when you click again this lock the layers has been unlocked here why are layers useful the first point is if you draw objects on separate layers like this it would be easier for you to understand the drawing you can quickly know an object type by checking the layer when you draw an object on a particular layer it will have the same line type line weight color and other properties it gives you a better control to plot your drawing you can lock or unlock a layer like this it means you can have greater control of your drawing you can lock several layers to prevent they are accidentally modified sometimes when you want to modify a particular thing in your drawing you can hide a layer which you don't want at that time and you can use that layer after few minutes you can hide objects when the drawing becomes too complicated this drawing is not a complicated one but if you get a drawing which is very complicated one you can hide objects see now i have hidden my walls by only clicking this bulb symbol in this main wall layer using layers adds a better control to select and modify objects let's say if you want to select all the main walls in your drawing and copy them to the 
Next typical flow. AutoCAD doesn't understand which lines are main walls. However, you can tell AutoCAD to select lines on the main wall layer. So if I hide all other things like this, only these main walls are visible here. Now I can easily edit this drawing as per my wish. And after editing, I can show all other objects here. So this is the main use of using layers. If you have not worked with layer properly, you should start now itself. It will give benefits to everyone including yourself. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. Thank you.